Hi everyone, it's me, Spring the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to start the very first part of the very large poncho. Um, you will have seen by this point a picture of it in the beginning of these tutorials. I'm going to break them down into smaller sections to make it easier for you to pick up where you left off. All right, so for this tutorial and this particular poncho, I used a DK weight to begin with. So I was going to go up to a four weight, but I knew it was going to be much, much bigger uh, if I did that So I, and heavier. And I really wanted to keep that lacy effect in play. So I decided I had a few mandalas that... Um, they match, but they don't. They're not the same colorway. So there's a lot of similar colors that trail between these two. And then I have one that's got a darker purple to it. Um, I'm going to start with this one and work my way out and see how far we get. Uh, Mandala is Lion Brand and... It has 590 yards, and it's considered a uh, three-weight, which it is. It's a very nice three-weight, and I enjoy personally working with three-weight, DK three-weight. Um, like I said, the color reference really isn't going to matter much because this is entirely up to you, um, and mine is not going to be the same color way as I progress through the pattern. So just know that I'm using a DK weight and I will also be using a 5.5 millimeter, 5 .5 millimeter uh, crochet hook with the DK. Now their recommended crochet hook size I think is actually a 5. Yeah, five millimeter. So I'm actually a half a size larger than what is recommended on the ball. Now, you do you. If you know that you crochet really tight and need to go way up in crochet hook size to keep something lacy and flowy, by all means, please do. If you crochet really loose and a five and a half millimeter is going to be too big, for a good, lacy, relaxed fit, but not just like strands of yarn, then go down in hook size. If you're like me and crochet pretty loose and comfortable, um, a 5.5 should suit you just fine. So definitely gonna need some DK weight yarn, at least one stitch marker to mark the beginning and end of the round, a uh, needle to sew in your ends, and a pair of scissors, and your crochet hook and yarn. So I'm going to go ahead and move this stuff out of the way and get set up to start recording the very beginning of this poncho. Okay, so the beginning of this poncho starts with this, like, burst flower in the center. That's the part that we're going to work on first. And then we'll move out and work probably to about this point in this video. Um, a lot of repeats happen uh, during this time, and it becomes very easy to just crochet along and see where you're at as you go. Um, so you can see here, there's kind of like almost a pineapple effect. So we have a triangle this way and a triangle that way. And we're going to work through that part in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way now and get a slip knot on my hook. I think I'm going to start at the very center of this ball and work my way out, or should I say cake? 
So what I want you to do is, if you want to do the magic loop, that's absolutely fine and up to you. Um, we're not closing, cinching it down and closing it up. I am going to crochet a number of 10 chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then I'm just gonna connect with a slip stitch to the very first stitch. Okay, so once you have your chain of 10 and you're connected together in the round, we are going to place 24 single crochets around this chain. Now I will be working over my tail. So I'm just gonna pull up a loop and single crochet, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and continue working on until you have a total of 24 single crochets around your starting chain. Okay, once you have your 24 single crochets and you will have to adjust them and get them just so, you're gonna wanna slip stitch to that very first single crochet that you made. And we're gonna chain one, two, and three. I wanted to zoom in and get you a little bit closer here. We're gonna work all the way around exactly the same. We're going to work a three double crochet cluster. So I'm gonna go into my next single crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop, and I'm yarning over and going through two. I'm gonna do that one more time because we have a chain three as our first double crochet. So now we have three loops on our hook. You're gonna yarn over and go through all three. Now you just clustered those three together. Now we're gonna chain one, two, and three, and we're gonna use the next three single crochets to do the same thing. Yarn over, go into your next single crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and go through two loops. Repeat that two more times. So we're working over three stitches. We're taking three single crochets and we're gonna cluster them together. Now we have four loops on our hook. The fourth loop is from the previous chain space. So now we're gonna yarn over and go through all four loops on our hook. And now chain one, two, and three. And again, we're gonna do the same exact thing and we're gonna work this all the way around. Just like that, one, two, and three. Yarn over and go through all four loops and chain one, two, three. Go ahead and continue working these three double crochet clusters together all the way around. And when we come down to the last three and go to connect, I will meet back up with you and we'll do that together. Okay, so I've finished my last cluster and I have a chain three. And now I'm just simply gonna slip stitch to the top of that cluster. Right at the very, very top. I'm gonna slip stitch there. And then I'm gonna slip stitch into the chain three space. Now we're gonna be working the same type of cluster situation um, in the chain three spaces. So here we are in the first chain three space and we're gonna chain three, one, two, and three. And then we're gonna add two more half of a full double crochet so that way we can get a cluster. So yarn over and go into that chain three space, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and go through two loops only. 
We're going to do that one more time. And now we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops and chain one, two, and three. We're going to go back into that same chain three space. And we're going to place another cluster. This time we'll have four loops on our hook when we are to the end of the stitch. Here we are. Yarn over and go through all of them. And now you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And we're going to continue working this cluster V-stitch in every chain three space. So one more time, we're going to cluster, double crochet three cluster here. And chain one, two, and three. And then we're going to do another cluster in that same chain three space. just like such, and finish it off. So just go ahead and continue working in the round here, around, and when we get to the end, we're gonna slip stitch to the very top of that stitch as we did previously. I'll meet up with you at that point. Okay, so I just finished the round and you should have a total of 16 of these cluster stitches around. All right, the next step, we're gonna slip stitch into our first chain three space, like such. And we're gonna chain one, two, and three. And we're gonna do another cluster right here. So just as we've been doing, we're gonna get that first cluster done, just like that. And now we're going to be skipping over to this second chain three space. So not this first one after your next cluster, but the very next one. We're working in between these uh, V clusters now. So right now we're going to go ahead and chain a number of 10 chains. So one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now we're gonna work one cluster into that next V-stitch cluster. So one cluster. And you may have to hold your chain on your hook as we're doing this to keep it from sliding all over the place. Here we are, and there you go. So that's your repeat. We're gonna chain 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Put your finger on that chain that you just did on the loop on your hook, yarn over, skip your next cluster, your next chain three, and the following cluster, and go into your next chain three space and do a three together double crochet cluster. There we go. And you're just gonna continue to repeat this all the way around. And when you get to the end, you will slip stitch to the top of your very first cluster. And I'll meet up with you at that point Okay, and for your next round, we're gonna slip into the chain space, chain one, and single crochet. We're gonna be working single crochets around the chains. Into every chain 10 space, you will have 13 single crochets. So that was one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and you'll probably have to scoot them over a little bit, get the last couple in, and thirteen. Now you're going to chain five. Your chain fives will be over your clusters. So one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to single crochet right on the other side of the cluster around the next chain 10 space. That's your repeat. 13 single crochets into your chain 10 space then chain five, skip your cluster, and begin single crocheting your next 13 stitches into your following chain 10 space. When you get to the end, you will slip stitch to your very first single crochet. I will meet up with you at that point. Okay, so once you've finished round five, we're gonna start working round six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So this next six rounds, we're gonna be decreasing in one section and increasing in another section. So this first round, round six, we're gonna slip over and place a chain three to start. And I'll show you what I mean. So we slip stitch to join. There's our, there's our slip to that very first single crochet that we made. Now we're gonna chain three, one, two, and three. And that's gonna count as our first double crochet. You're gonna place one double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. And this is going to be your repeat for this round. As Soon as we get through this spot, we'll start our repeat. All right, so I'm coming up to my last double crochet here, and you just wanna ensure, including that chain three, that you do have a total of 13 double crochets. Okay, so now we're gonna chain one, two, and three, and we're gonna single crochet down into the chain space from the row below. Now we're gonna chain one, two, and three, and go straight in to our first single crochet with a double crochet. Then you're going to place one double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. And that is your repeat. 13 double crochets and two chain three spaces with a single crochet to the chain space below. I'll continue working across this particular 13 double crochets and show you how to do the chain threes one more time. And again, this is round six.
gonna double check. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So now I'm gonna chain three, one, two, and three, single crochet to the chain space below, and chain three more, one, two, and three, and double crochet into that very first single crochet. And place one double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. Go ahead and continue with these repeats all the way around to the end. Once you have come to your last 12 double crochets, I will join back up with you and we'll close this off and start round seven together. All right, so here I am at the last set of double crochets and I'm gonna chain one, two, three and single crochet to the chain space from the row below. Now I'm gonna chain one, two, three, and I'm gonna slip stitch to the first double crochet, which was our chain three from the previous. All right, here we are slip stitch to that. Now we're gonna start with our decreasing of this section here. You're gonna slip stitch to the very next double crochet. And this is how you will start every round until we're down to our final single crochet at the very end here, our, our final double crochet down here. So we start by slip stitching into the next double crochet, chain one, two, and three. So once you have your chain three and double crochet into the next 10 double crochet stitches. So you're gonna place one double crochet in each of the following 10 stitches. And with your chain three, you will have a total of 11 double crochets on this round. So we skip one at the beginning and skip one at the end every round, every section, should I say. So we have one double crochet stitch left. We're skipping that. We're gonna chain one, two, and three. And we're gonna go to our first chain three space and single crochet. And then you're gonna chain one, two, three. Go to your next chain three space and single crochet. Chain one, two, three. You're gonna skip the first double crochet and place one double crochet into the next 11 stitches. That is your repeat around. I will work across these 11 stitches and go through the chaining section one more time. Okay, I have one stitch left, one double crochet stitch below left. I'm gonna chain one, two, three, single crochet into the chain three space. Chain one, two, three, single crochet into the next chain three space. And chain one, two, and three, and place one double crochet into the second stitch, so not your first stitch, but your second stitch, like that. So we're, we skip that first one and double crochet into the next and place one double crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. Hopefully that uh, makes sense. 
we have 11 double crochets and three chain three spaces and then 11 double crochets three chain three spaces and you're going to continue working that repeat all the way around and when we come to the end of the round I will join back up with you and show you how to finish here and show you the next round. Okay, now we're gonna finish off here with a slip stitch to the top of our chain three for round seven. Now let's begin round eight. You're gonna start the same way that we did the last time. You're gonna slip stitch to the very next stitch, chain one, two, three, now you're going to place one double crochet in each of the next eight stitches. So with your chain three, you will have a total of nine double crochets in this section on round eight. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and work over to our chain spaces and we'll work through the chain spaces together and you should start to see what is happening here, where we're increasing and decreasing. So we're skipping one double crochet on each side of our double crochets every round. So here we are, we have one left, chain one, two, three, and then you simply single crochet into your chain three space, your very first chain three space. Then chain one, two, three, single crochet into the next chain three space. Chain one, two, three, single crochet into the next chain three space, and chain one, two, and three, and you're gonna skip the next stitch, your double crochet, and place one double crochet in each of the following nine stitches. That is your repeat. So our chain three loops have increased yet again. We went from three to four chain three loops. That's what I mean by this section increases and this section decreases. And we're gonna continue to work this same repeat all the way around. And we're gonna join exactly as we have been and continue to do this until we have one double crochet left. So one double crochet left, chain one, two, and three. Single crochet into your first chain three space, chain one, two, three, and single crochet into your next chain three space, chain one, two, three, single crochet into the next chain three space. You should be at three chain three spaces, chain one, two, three for your fourth chain three space and skip your first double crochet and place a double crochet into the next stitch. Place one double crochet into each of the next nine stitches. So you'll have nine double crochets total. And that is your repeat all the way around. So I'm going to set this out of the way and you're going to continue to do that until you have got to round 12. At round 12 you will have one double crochet at the bottom here of this grouping of double crochets and your chain spaces will continue to increase in between. Go ahead and continue working to the end of round 12, and I'll pick back up with you and show you what to do next. Okay, so here we are uh, getting ready to start round 12.
you're going to slip stitch to that center double crochet because you are now down to three double crochets at the bottom of those pine cones or partial pineapples, however you want to look at it. Now we're going to start working our just simply chain round. There will not be any double crochets. Your chain rounds are one, two, three, is how we're gonna start our first round, which is round 12. So you chain three and single crochet to the next chain three space. Chain one, two, three, again, continue. You're gonna repeat one, two, three, the same thing as you have been doing. The only difference is one, two, three. When you get to the center point where you would normally put a double crochet, we're not putting a double crochet. We are actually single crocheting into that space. Sorry, I'm having issues with my yarn. We're gonna single crochet into that stitch. So right now we're just doing a round of chain threes and single crochet to that center double crochet from the previous round. And that is it. Just chain three, single crochet to your next chain three space, chain one, two, three, and single crochet to the next chain three space. Continue working your chain threes. That's what the next nine rounds, this round and eight more are all about, is just creating a chain three mesh all the way around. And again, just single crochet to that center double crochet, like such. And I'm going to finish working around, and I will meet up with you at the very end of this round to show you how to end these rounds and begin the following round, the very next round. So go ahead and continue working your chain threes and single crochets all the way around. I will show you how to end the round in just a moment. Okay, when you've come all the way around and you're back to the beginning where you have your very first chain three and your single crochet to your last chain three space here. You're gonna chain one and half double crochet into your very first chain three space of this round. What that's gonna do is put you just about at the center of the next round. So here we are, you're going to end every round and begin every round from rounds 12 through 20, the exact same way. So we just chain one, half double crochet into the very first chain three space. And now we're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and single crochet into that chain space that we just created. And now there's the start of round 13. Okay. Now you just simply go from this point and chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet into your next chain three space. And you're going to repeat this once again for rounds 12 through round 20. That will conclude video one of the crochet along for this poncho. 
and we will pick up on the second part next week. I want to thank you guys for joining along with me on this crochet along journey. I hope that you are enjoying uh, working on this so far. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me via email, the Facebook group, or in the comment section below. This might be a little bit chopped up on this particular video. I am terribly sorry about that. I had a break and interruption in recording this video. So hopefully it seems smooth on your end, but don't fret if it doesn't. Please contact me and I will walk you through any steps that you may be uncertain of due to the interruption in the video. Thank you again. Be blessed, be a blessing, and until next week's video, bye for now, everyone.